Okay, I'm going to talk you through uh, a little bit of mail merge in Word uh, 2011 for Mac users. So the first thing we want to uh, just check, it says here that we're going to uh, ensure that you have the file times. Now we don't want to open that um, particularly, we just need to know that we've got it. Uh, it's an Excel for file, so that's fine. Next thing, we have to go and lay out our page in Word, not portrait, but in landscape. Uh, I've already typed the text in. It's for a staff meeting, and to notify staff about it, it's A4, so I've made the fonts uh, bigger as a result, and I've left some X's here. I've left those because that's where the mail merge uh, fields are going to go. In order to get the mail merge fields up, we go to Tool and we go Mail Merge Manager. There it is, not there now, and it's there now. So Mail Merge Manager, create new, form letter, and we're going to now go Get List, Open Data Source, and guess what? That's the one that we were looking for in the desktop, so I can sort this by date. Practice paper three, there we go, and it is Times New Roman. Has to be opened by Excel, we say yes to that, and we want it just to be the first one. And that brings us to the placeholders, this is the data. So it actually says staff meeting, insert site, so site is actually hidden down there, so we grab that, drop it across here, rather nice feature, and I'm going to take that away. Staff meeting, site, site. I've got this in the wrong place. Sorry. Um, how silly. So it's actually here. Staff meeting, site. Of course, if I want to format this text, I can click in here, go to the format brush, and click back in, uh, and we're nicely away. So staff meeting, site, site, and maybe I will just give that a little bit more punch. Uh, you don't get any extra marks for doing that, but it does look better. Okay, so the next staff meeting of the uh, department department, so if we come up to here and look for DEPT, drag that into there, and I'm just going to make sure that I've got one space, will be held in room, and guess what, there's a one in here called room, on, and we're choosing a date, a week away from where we are today, um, and today's the 3rd of uh, December, and it's going to be at what time, time's in here, look, all very straightforward, you might find a better way to do it and contact the secretary so there's the secretary I've highlighted that and that is still not quite right because I've got these X's in there that was just to remind me of where these go and I put them in orange but you don't have to put them in a different color that just makes it a little bit more punchy I think on extension meaning on the telephone extension so there we are and that then is going to be your master slide. A couple of things still to do. We have to put a header or a footer. So I'm going to go insert. Actually, I'm not even going to bother to go insert because this is a word. And I'm going to just double click at the bottom where the footer is. I'm going to put my name, center number. And I might make that just a little bit bigger, because uh, I can't really see it, being a little bit blind. And the document has to be centred and bold. So why on earth that would be the case, I don't know. But we're just going to highlight that back in, and we're going to go select all, centred, and we'll just make sure that um, it's bold. And there it is there. 
any font type, font sizes and margins to suit your document. And we're going to save this as meet. So we're going to go file, save as, and we're going to save this as meet. There we go, and save.